guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another video and this one is a little bit different for my channel. Um, I saw Andrea do this and a couple other people. Um, I think it's, I don't know how you say her name, Anne, is it Anne Plans or I don't know, it's spelled with an extra E so I'm not sure how you pronounce it but I saw both of them do um, a after the haul kind of video so I wanted to do one as well. I just finished filming this haul so if you guys haven't seen it make sure to go check it out. It's the last one that I posted on my channel and I went ahead and set up this entire um, thumbnail and then now what I do is put everything away. So I'm going to start off by sectioning off um, like shop by shop and then I'm going to show you guys how I organize things back into my planner because I loved seeing their videos um, and I wanted to show you guys what I do. So what I do for my kits is that I make sure that the full boxes are always the first page. Um, so if, even if I have any freebies, I always like tuck them behind um, just because I think it um, makes it easier when you're looking for a specific kit. You know what full boxes you're looking for um, and oftentimes you don't know what the functional sheet may look like. So I always like having my full boxes right in front. So that's kind of what I will often do. And sometimes if you guys see me like um, showing kits on my channel and the full boxes are not, or sorry, the freebies are not first. That is probably why. So I have all my kits laid out. So this is just the last um, chunk of the haul that I did. Of course, it doesn't include all the stuff that was there um, since I didn't film it all in one day. Um, and yeah, so anyways, we have all the kits with full boxes in front. Then I have paper and milk stuff. I have Coffee Monsters Co stuff. Then over here, I put aside the freebies, which are cute. So these two were from Regina and this one was from Paper and Milk um, or Denise. And then I also got two journaling cards, which are super cute and I'll be keeping them both. So I'll show you guys how I store those as well. So I'll actually start with those um, since those are the easiest to put away. And I just have this pouch from Erin Condren. I think this is last year's, but it also could be this year. I don't remember if this year is like the petals or this year is the woven wonders or whatever, but I just use all my pouches to like hold random stuff. And this, uh, this year's I decided to put in the journaling card. So I just have a bunch of them from random shops. I do have a lot of um, journaling cards that are either already in my setup or that I give away since like if I know I won't be using them I'll often go through this and give them away but um, I really like those two and I think they're really cute so I will keep those and that's how I store them and they just go like in this um, storage compartment like under my bed where I keep a lot of like my scrapbooking stuff like my paper cutter any backup washi nope backup whiteout <laughs> things like that so we have that done and then I've shown this, or you know what, actually I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna put the kits away first since I think that might be a little bit easier since the character stickers I have to go ahead and like separate as well. But this is where I keep the kits that I'm gonna be using in my Erin Condren. I also have a planner of kits where I'm gonna be, that I'll be using in my like recollections planner as well as my um, Filofax planner. So I do like to keep all those separate, but these are specifically Erin Condren kits. So um, I like to have the dates on them. So I've already pre-planned all the way until July. We know I've lost my mind. And I knew that I wanted to use this um, lavender kit from Regina's shop, so I kind of labeled it there so I don't put anything else in there. And yeah, I, I know a lot of people use this system. These are just like labels that I made for myself. Um, and I just went and looked at the weeks that are in the year and kind of labeled them out that way. These are just like some kits that I'll be using. And I also put down that I wanted to use Regina's kit with the lemons in here. I think this was also in this haul actually, this um, Graceful Planner kit. So I already put that away the last time I did this um, after the haul, which is definitely what I do every time. <laughs> and then this kit, I know I wanna use it next year. So this is kind of where I put my um, like next year because I have up until January 6th to 12th and this is 2020. And then right after that is kind of like my sometime in the winter of 2020 so these these ones aren't like specifically you know specifically like in a certain week that I want to use them in but they're in the general area like I know these will be like January kits and then maybe this one will go in like February and there's a ton of like kits that don't have a week assigned um, and then I just go ahead I close this up and yeah uh, this paper also if you're wondering is from Michaels I have another one 
Um, this one is not from Michaels. I don't remember where this one is from, but it was from a paper pack. I know that. Um, and then the binder as well as the sleeves are both from Amazon. So I keep that. I've had this for a long time. The other one that I have doesn't look exactly like it, but pretty similar. It's also a mini binder. And then let's see, now I gotta separate all of these character stickers. So I know drinks don't go with characters, so I'm gonna set those aside. This is gonna be like healthcare. I hope this is interesting to watch. I might speed this up if it ends up getting a little bit boring. This is like emotions, this is reading, cause I know I have other ones. This is probably gonna go in other. This will go in like dates and stuff. This will be cleaning, sleeping planning and probably exercising for that one i hope i'm in frame i am not okay let's fix this up <laughs> hope this is okay and then this one will go into laptops this one will be reading do we have a food one yet no but we will so i'll put the food one there we have nursing again this one see this is where i struggle because i don't know where to put sheets like this um i'm probably gonna put this in like Hmm, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably gonna put this in like lazy night. I have like a nap time sleeping section that's also like lazy day. This is drinks, but that's not the same drinks as these since these ones are actually like character drinks. So that'll get its own section there. These ones are seasonal, I think, and I have a different section for that. This is food, this is food, and then this one is seasonal. So I know this kind of looks like a mess, but I understand what's going on and that's all that matters. <laughs> so this is what my character sticker binder it looks like, uh, or not binder, this is an album. I showed this on Instagram before and yeah, what I went ahead and did is I separated all of my characters, actually not all of them, only Coffee Monsters Co goes in here, Once More With Love and Paper and Milk, since those are like my like white based characters. All the other ones that look like girls, for example, like Fox and Pip or like My Shop, those ones are really used separately, but anyways, so as you can see, I made little labels at the bottom here, which say what each section is. So I know I had an exercise one since that, since that was the um, hiking one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slip that in here. I also have the, I know I have some food ones over here, so I'm gonna grab them and slip them. Food is definitely my biggest one. <laughs> Look how many food stickers I have of just like characters. Um, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> then I'm just like flipping by them and oh see I have like a little like freebie here and that's kind of why I wanted this sheet to replenish it. But this is like the emotions or emoticons kind of like random sheet and then here I see dates. I do also have dates. Actually maybe I have more date night stickers than food ones. I'm not really sure. But we'll put that in here. Um, cooking, I don't think I have any cleaning. I did. And this is kind of just like how I will go through everything and um, like organize it, I guess. So bubble tea sticker goes in like coffee. I just, I should have named it drinks, but I named it coffee. But now I know it's like all drinks, so it's fine. And then reading, I also don't have like a specific reading section. I kind of just put everything into um, like school since I used to just like buy reading stickers and use them for school. But now I, I don't know. I also use reading stickers just for reading, but it's fine. So I have this pharmacist, um, these pharmacist emojis, and now I have nursing ones. These are little like peekaboo munchkins, planner. I know I have that. That'll go into crafter or crafter noon will go into that. Let's see. Then we have school, like I mentioned. Where's reading? Oh, here. I like grabbed it and then was like, nope. Oh, I also, maybe school is my biggest section. Okay, those three are definitely my biggest sections. Maybe food still wins. <laughs> and then I have seasonal, like I mentioned. So I have this sheet. There was only one of them left in Helen's shop and Regina and I both wanted it. So we cut it in half. And then I have this summary one. And oh, I should put both of these. I'll put this one in the front since I'm more likely to use it now. Um, and definitely not the winter one anymore, hopefully. Uh, self-care, shopping, or maybe that should go into self-care. Yeah, that's what that's gonna be because it's kind of like a face mask thing and hopefully I remember that there's other ones there. So then this one should go into sleep. 
And then let's see, this one I said will go into others, or do I want this to be in friends? I'm actually gonna put this in friends because obviously I can't really play board games by myself. So that was everything with the character binder. I also have a sheet here, which I put like things from freebie. Okay, so my camera keeps interrupting me and I think this is like a different zoom level. Actually, I know this is a different zoom level, but my camera keeps interrupting me. What I was saying was that um, these are things from freebies. And then I also mentioned that this album is actually from Muji. Um, it's just like a photo album of theirs. And then the journaling card that I have here is from Harriet Wright Designs. I do wanna make something really cute for the sidebar, like maybe like character sticker stash or like just sticker stash. Like if somebody knows where I can get like a vinyl or something, I don't know, or maybe I'll just make one. Um, I'll figure that out. And then for the last two things that I have, I have these acrylic drawers like right over there, right where I sit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys those today because I do wanna eventually do a desk tour and I think, or like a sticker collection or I don't know, something like that, which I guess this did kind of spoil some of the sticker collection parts since I showed you a lot of it, but um, I do still wanna save some of the things and um, so I'm just gonna put those there, but I do have a certain um, section where I have like samplers and freebies, so like samplers that I buy um, and as well as freebies from other shops. And then I do have a coffee slash drink Drinks slash bubble tea <laughs> slash any drinks kind of section in there so that's where I'm gonna put these but I hope you guys like this video let me know if this is something that you'd be interested in I thought these were really fun to watch when I watched them um, and yeah let me know what you guys thought and I'll see you guys in my next plan with me or nope my next video <laughs> bye